Hello, everyone. Um, I'm Sayyid Ahmed, and I welcome all of you on behalf of AG School of Data Science to this masterclass on Tableau. Before we start with the session, uh, I would like to give a brief introduction about our uh, today's speaker, uh, Professor Angita Nayak. Uh, Ma'am has completed his BTEC and MTEC from Bengaluru in uh, computer science field. And she got seven years of teaching experience as of now. And her area of interest include SQL subject and uh, BI tools like Power BI, Tableau, and all. So this was a short introduction about you, Ma'am. Now I, I request you to start the session. Over to you. Sure, sure. Thank you so much. Good evening, everyone. So I welcome you all to my webinar, uh, which is based on uh, one of the uh, formatting options that is available in Tableau. So let me just share my screen. So uh, the five formatting options that is available in Tableau is the topic for today's session. So let us understand first, before going to the formatting options, let's have a look and feel of uh, Tableau first. So uh, what is Tableau and what are the different fields that are available in Tableau desktop? We'll just go through that. And before that, let's quickly understand what is visualization, okay? Uh, why, why we actually go through all the different visualization tools. So let us understand that. So to start with, uh, what do you mean by visualization? What is data visualization? So name itself is telling you uh, to visualize the data. So data which is there in the uh, numerical format or text format, I want to convert them into a graphical display so that people who are not into uh, the actual ones, they are actually they are able to see the graph and they're able to interpret those numerical or text what is available. So you all know nowadays, like how, may, how much number of data is uh, uh, available per day, right? So based on that, like every, uh, so much data is there, I'm not able to analyze that data looking into the text or the numerical format. I'm not able to analyze those columns what are there in my table. So what I do is I fetch that data into the data visualization tool, and then I convert that data into the graphical display. And then the graphical, through that gra graphical display, you're able to convey some story, right? So what is the story behind this data that you are having? Basically, you're finding out the insights. Okay, so what is there with this data? So you can take any uh, form of data, you can convert that into graphical display and you can convey some story that this is how I have performed analysis, right? So those are, that is what the data visualization tools are going to uh, do. And data visualization tools, if I, if you want me to uh, tell a few of the tools, so examples you can take, take as ClickSense we have, ClickView we have, Tableau we have, Power BI we have, all these are the different uh, data visualization tools. So right now in this webinar, I'll be talking about Tableau. So uh, data visualization is a graphical display of abstract information for two purposes. One is to perform the analysis, data analysis, and the second thing is to communicate. I want to communicate and I want to convey that to uh, someone else who has the problem. I have, I have found out the prop solution for that problem. And I'm conveying that. So that's the communication that I'm going to do with the data. Important stories live in our data. And that data, I'm going to discover and understand what is the story behind that data. And then present it to others. Okay. And you want to distribute it. Then it is up to you whether you want to give it to others, like whatever you have done. This is a story that I have found out. So something like that, you can do it. Statistical information is abstract. So data can be anything. Data can be related to sales. It can be related to some diseases. It can be related to athletics. Data can be anything. It can be abstract data or it can be live data. You can just connect and you can perform the analysis and you can present it to others. Okay. Even though it does not pertain to the physical world, we can still display it visually. So you, you are just taking maybe some for some academic purpose you are doing it. So then also you can do it. 
to do this we must find a way to uh, give form to our data so that is what we are doing it in visualization we are having the data and you are giving some form to the data so that what is the story behind that data you are going to find out okay so that is about data visualization now uh, one example uh, which you can see in this uh, slide here is so if you just see the data the data at the top so you can see uh, you can see the data in the form of table okay so like you have uh, some sales data say from jan to december one year data you have and every month okay you have some sales like this okay so domestic sales you have international sales you have so and then you have the total okay so looking at this uh, so if i ask you all to uh, tell give me some insight so, so many of you all would be able to tell me like uh, uh, looking at this data you will be able to give me two or three different insights out of this uh, table because it just contains 10 rows you are able to identify but say suppose there are 10000 rows will you be able to do that it will take lot of time to understand right so what we do is so this is just an example so what we do is we convert this tabular data what you have we convert that into a form of a graphical display like this okay so when i look into this okay i have one clear picture okay so how what we have two types of uh, region like one is one, depending upon the domestic one is on the international and we have the uh, sales on the y axis and the months on the x axis so you are able to see that and you can see that 2009 sales and quickly to uh, tell you all few insights like domestic sales were little high compared to international right so domestic sales if you see the line chart of the domestic sales it is like uh, it is trending like up, upward like upward as a whole it is there but uh, you can see that it is having some uh, cyclical pattern like up down up down kind of pattern you are having okay so that is about domestic sales if you come to international you can see it it almost relatively remained flat except in the month of august it came little uh, down and then again it has picked up uh, till december so that is how it is so this data when you are able to convert the uh, tabular data in the form of graphical display so then you will be able to find out more insights and something like this story you can find it out right because when you are looking into a lot of rows you will not be able to understand which month okay if here we are just having one year data so say suppose you have 10 years data then how will you do that right so that is how you convert the tabular form into the graphical form and then you find out the story behind that okay so that is what uh, is the power of visualization where you are going to convert into it, into the graphical display so today uh, what we will be doing is we'll uh, build few uh, tableau visualization okay so there are something called as measures and dimensions in tableau so let us understand what are dimensions what are measures and then uh, uh, what how do you drag and drop so it's a it is called as drag and drop tool right so how do you drag and drop the rows and columns that are available okay so drag the measures and dimensions you want to visualize into shell tableau will then automatically choose which visualization best suits your data this may not be the best option so experiment with the different available options so what happens is when you are having when you take the data set when you connect the data set with tableau it automatically identifies what falls in dimensions and what falls in measure it automatically identifies you need not think about that okay you have to just understand what do you mean by dimension and what do you mean by measure now when you take dimension and measure when you automatically get it in tableau you drag and drop it in the rows and columns that are available and then when you drag and drop those things automatically tableau will identify so whatever data you have taken to rows and columns which suits best which which are the different types of charts that will fit best for those things which you have taken maybe it might be only three or four of the charts which are there in the option you might be suitable so only those options will be uh, shown up the rest of them will be grayed out okay i'll just show that in tableau so that it will be more clear and then uh, you can uh, tableau will automatically give you when i drop 
something like uh, dimension and measure directly in the shelf tableau will automatically give you the bar chart but that might not be the best you can convert them into different types of charts okay so tableau will give its intelligence you have to show your intelligence also experiment with the different options that are available in the max card to improve your visualization so in the max card we have the five different formatting options that is what we will be seeing in today's session so we have these formatting options color size label detail and tool tip okay so we have this in something called max card options are available in tableau and we will be uh, going through these different options that are available okay so first uh, let me just open tableau So the data set uh, that I have chosen is the transaction data. Okay, so we have uh, uh, data related to fee earner. So you have uh, the data related to fee earner. We have clients, and we have certain uh, data like what do you mean by charge out rate, minutes, value, date time posting, budget rate per hour. So all these are the different columns that are available in the data set. Now uh, let us understand what are these. So first, starting with fee earner. So these are the people. There are around 21 uh, fee earners. 20 or 21 fee earners are there. So these people are working for client. Okay, these these are the people who are working for client, and they are having certain charges per hour. Okay, so this is that budget rate per hour. This is the minimum charges that they are going to charge whenever they are going to do any piece of work. They are going to charge that. Okay, so I am going to do a piece of work, and that charges will be sixty-four dollars. So that is how the charges will be given in budget rate per hour. And this is the date time posting is the date on which the particular task will be done. Value is something that they have earned on this particular date, and minutes is that the date, uh, the number of are uh, the number of time that they have worked. Okay, so they have worked for five ninety-four minutes. So charge out rate is the maximum charges that the earner has given. So his minimum is sixty four, but he can charge out maybe depending upon the piece of work he can give more also. So he is for this piece of work what he has done on twenty three eleven fifteen. So what he has done is he has charged hundred dollars. Okay, sixty four is minimum, but he has charged hundred dollars and he has worked for five ninety four minutes and the value that he has earned is nine ninety dollars. so that is how the data is there here in transaction data and so once you open tableau it will look something like this so we have because i have my data in excel sheet so what i'm doing is i'm clicking on this excel and the uh, directly you can select for uh, your uh, excel sheet and you can connect the data directly to tableau okay so the data that i'm going to use is the transaction data so i'm selecting that and clicking on open so automatically uh, you will be able to uh, see that the data will be there in uh, tableau so here uh, what data we have no so here like that what do you mean by dimensions and what are measures so i was talking about that so whenever it is a categorical kind of data or it is string kind of data all that forms under uh, comes under dimension okay so here you can see fee earner the categorical data you it it is it comes under dimensions then you have client again that is a dimension but the rest of the uh, so what do you mean by measure is measure is something through which you can you will be able to find out an aggregate of f of anything aggregate of a column you are able to find out aggregate functions are which so we have uh, aggregate functions like sum average minimum maximum all these are the different aggregate functions that are available so what happens is automatically uh, when you take the take that column automatically it will find out the aggregate now if you see value is there okay so value is nothing but that's the value that he has earned so that is a measure why it is a measure when i'm taking that value to a row or a column it automatically converts that into sum sum of value it will come okay it it is going to convert that into an aggregate function so any column through which you will be able to find out the aggregate function so that forms under measure okay so that falls under measure so here you can see charge out rate minutes value 
budget rate per hour all these becomes your measure but date time posting you will not be able to find out any aggregate out of that so all that comes under dimension okay so now uh, you can see in the excel sheet also you can see now i was in transaction data there are uh, two more tabs also like pe on by division is there data days is there okay so now we will be working on transaction data and it is telling you drag tables here so i'm just taking this transaction data and i'm just dropping it here so as soon as you uh, drop it in this particular place okay so what happens is uh, you will be able to see few rows which are there in the transaction data and you will be uh, able to understand okay the first step actually before in the visualization is before you actually load the data directly into the tableau you have to just open the data you have to spend some time on that data what you have now you have now i i showed you right excel sheet so i have some data with me so you have to first analyze this data what is this data so what is what do you mean by p earner what do you mean by client what are these different columns that are there with me so we have to spend some time on that so that you understand your data set once you understand your data set then take that data and put it in tableau so once you put it in tableau uh, so automatically uh, you can directly go to your visualization right so that is what you can do instead of uh, spending time in understanding because this is easier way for us to look into the data and uh, things like that so you can see here automatically you have seen different columns that are there the same columns you will be able to see here okay and uh, here you can see some metadata like what is the data type of each of the columns and uh, uh, you want to change any data type you will be able to do that now you can see the fee on a client and all so these are string kind of data so it is showing you as abc it means it's a string kind of data so uh, automatically tableau is going to identify data type for each of the columns okay so you can see here like what are the different data types that are available is you have number like one is decimal one is whole number date and time you have string you have okay and we do if it is a geographical kind of data it will automatically show you in uh, globe kind of icon wherein you will be uh, able to understand okay so this is related to geography okay so it will automatically identify you need not think of data type and all it will almost it will identify properly that this is a data type for each of the columns okay and then in the connection we have two types of connection one is live and one is extract okay so uh, if if you don't want it to be updated regularly then you can go with extract otherwise you can be in live connection if you want to keep on updating your uh, uh, workbook that you will be doing so you can be in the live connection so i'm just going to the uh, so this is the feel look and feel of the starting of the tableau okay and then i'm going to sheet 1 now so each of these sheets what you can see uh, uh these are called as worksheet in tableau and uh, you are having three different tabs here if you just observe so the first tab is uh, for the different sheets that you are going to create and the second tab is for creating a dashboard and the third one is for creating a story okay so you can directly create these three tabs here directly uh, uh, these are the three different tabs that are available in tableau and as i mentioned uh, uh, a tableau will automatically identify your dimensions and measures you can see one small line so these are the different columns that we had in our data set this is our data that is transaction data is the database that we had and these are the different columns that are there here so client pnr date time posting these have been taken into dimensions and the rest of the numericals have been taken into the measures so measures will always be numerical you can see that is identified as hash and uh, the string data will be uh, written the data type would be abc and the date time posting will you will have a small calendar kind of option okay so these are the different this is how uh, the dimensions and measures will be automatically identified by tableau and you will be able to see all your columns that are available on the left hand side so this is a data tab you can see here data so this is called as a data tab and here you can see this mark uh, mark card option so usually we call it as mark card filters card okay and today we are going to explore this mark card option so as i mentioned there are five different options available in mark card one is color size text detail and tool tip right so these are the five different options we have in mark card 
these are very important in tableau because uh, through this only you will be able normal visualizations you can do from this particular uh, show me drop down that you are able to see here okay you will be able to see all the different uh, when you hover your mouse you can see all the different uh, types of charts that are available in tableau okay automatically you hover your mouse it will tell you what type of uh, uh, what type of chart it is like first when i am hovering you can see below it is telling it's a text table and uh, how many dimensions and measures it will hold so that also it is it is going to tell you okay so you can hover your mouse on any of the chart so it is going to give you a view about that okay so briefly it will tell you how many dimensions and how many measures it will hold and you can use this directly using show me so these are your visualization uh, charts which you can use and these are called as shells wherein you can drop your uh, you just drag and drop these values what you have in your data set directly to rows and columns and automatically when you do that you can uh, you can select the different uh, visualization that is available in show me option and then you can perform it in this sheet okay so let us start with our first uh, visualization so what we will do is we'll just take now say suppose i'm taking p or no okay i have to just drag and drop it like this and then i will take a uh, value okay so i've taken p or no to columns and then i will take value to rows okay so you will be able to see it like this you have a swap option also so you want it horizontally or vertically you can decide like you want it horizontally or vertically anyhow it is okay so automatically you will you have this option called as swap through which you will be able to swap this whatever you have put it in rows it will just go to columns and vice versa okay so now you will be able to see now just you can just go through this show me option you will be able to see this is a bar chart right so automatically few of them are grayed out you can see in the second line itself there are two maps it is grayed out you are not able to see those maps why is so because whatever i have given in the rows and columns this through this uh, values that are there in this columns you will not be able to do maps so it is grayed out you will not be able to perform maps out of it only few things which are available like you can do text table you can do pie chart okay you can do tree map so these are the options that are there now tableau has given you directly that you can perform a bar chart but say suppose you don't want bar chart you want something else you can convert it okay and then always it's a best practice to always have your uh, data in descending order so just keeping the data in the descending order here so this is how uh, our data looks like now uh, let us just explore like what are the different options that i had mentioned so i'm if i'm going to the first option that is there so if i just click on this color okay now it is a blue color right i just want to change the uh, color of bar okay so if i just change it to something like this so it will automatically change the color of each of the bars that are available in this chart now say suppose i don't want fear okay so what i will do is i will just duplicate this so duplicate means it will just create a copy out of it okay and then i will just uh, mention it okay i'll just mention the name of the sheet so you can just write the name of the sheet so that it is easy for you to identify now instead of fee earner i will take client i'll just remove this fee earner okay i'll just remove the free earner and i'll take client to rows we have lot of clients okay so you you can see a lot of options we have in client so again i will just make this in the i'll just sort this data into descending order so you can see the data is there in the descending order now because we have lot of clients now uh, the one thing is which i have mentioned is directly change of the color right so you have to directly click on the color and you can change the color directly but that is not going to give me any insight it is just for me to view or maybe you have done some dashboarding and you want to change any colors of any of the visualization that you have done you can directly change the colors but through this marks the 
the main intention is through this marks card option i want to get the find out the insight so what insight i can find it out now so what i am doing i am taking this p earner and i am dropping it on color okay i just take this p earner and i drop it on color in the marks card it is just giving me some warning it is telling that there are 21 members but i can add only 20 members but no it's okay you add all the members because no problem we just have 21 not more than that so you can add it no problem now you can see okay how beautifully what inside we have got okay so i will just explain this how what it is now if you just take this first option that is client any tech is there right so in this bar you can see these are the clients for whom these p earners are working so in this particular bar we are able to understand okay through this any tech who are the different p earners who are earning through this particular client so you are going to get all the information related to uh, all the information related to the p earner through this okay so through this you are able to understand that okay so if i am if i am interested in few clients and i want to check so how much how many different p earners are working for each of these clients you can directly get it out through this okay so not only now we are just working with one data right so it means i am i have just taken one sheet of the excel now say suppose you have it in different sheets also so then also it will work so you just get one connection when you are doing you are getting uh, data from some other uh, other now in excel itself say suppose you have you have fetched the another data set but then only thing is there has to be some common column between each e each of the data set only then you will be able to club them otherwise you will not be able to do if it is different data set then it is difficult okay so it will you will not be able it you can perform it differently but you will not be able to club them together but if there is some common column between two data set and you want to get some insight from that so then again you can perform similarly what i have done okay so you can just find out some visualization and you want to find out more insight you can drop those columns into this mask card option so that you get more beneficial so through this so you can get lot of information you will get it like this okay so this is about the first option that is available in the mask card so let me go on to the second option that the size so again what i will do is i'll just duplicate this i'll rename this as size okay and what we will do now uh, see directly you can remove it like this this is one option okay but actually you have one option which is called as remove so anyhow uh, so you can see here in the drop down you have remove option you can go through that also but the shortcut is we just remove it like that okay now the second option is size okay so the size now again if i am just clicking on the size if you see here it will just increase or decrease the size of the bar like this okay so something like this uh, the bar size you want to means it i have taken example as bar for that matter you can take any of them so if it is available so this size will work now if i am just doing that again it is not making any sense this is just for the view but how will i get the more insight when i am using how to use this size option okay so what we will do there is a, a column called as minutes okay you can just take this minutes and you can drop it on size so when i drop it on size you can see automatically uh, one uh, bar okay so depending upon the size of the bar you will be able to uh, see like the different how many number of minutes each of these bar is having now you can see if you see the first one that is in e text there is 54987 minutes so that's the highest you can see here and the lowest is 4 minutes okay so depending upon the number of minutes the size of the bar you can see here at last there is no bars only so very less Uh, number of minutes they have worked up okay so that is how you can find out the insight out of this so that is about size anybody is having any doubt so far
okay so that no, is about okay okay that is about color size and the third one is the label okay so what we will do is again i'll just duplicate this okay so i'm removing this minutes able to you will not be able to have more than one label that that will be only one label which you all can use so if i am just taking say value i just take value and drop it on label okay when i take value and drop it on label what happens is automatically you can see here automatically the values have come up okay and if you can see it will it will be tallied to the x axis that is there right so that this is how you can do direct labeling you want anything to be seen okay you are presenting it to some that i want to see the number of minutes also that is not possible you can either have minutes or you can either have uh, the value one of the things you can have both the things you will not be able to put it and label okay so let me take this sum of value let us have it in percentage wise the formatting you can do so there is something called as quick table calculation in tableau and when i so what i did is i just went to the marks card so uh, you can see in the marks card also whenever i'm taking any values and dropping it no so you can see the uh, icon of label is see here so you can see here if you just go to the size you will be able to see the size if you just see the color you will be able to see the color icon okay so through that you will be able to identify what all different options they have used in the marks card okay so i am using the label here so when i am just going to this drop drop down so quick table calculation i'll click on this percent of total okay so percentage of total percentage i will just do and then let us not have these many number of uh, decimal places so i'll just click i just did right click on the empty space so you have format option so just click on this format in the fields select this percentage of total okay and directly in the numbers so we have percentage no so we will just have one decimal place okay so something like this and then uh, but now the x axis are in uh, thousands so it is not getting tallied with the values that you are having here in the bar so what we will do is in the column also i will change it so in the sum of value quick table calculation and just click on percentage of total so now you can see the percent and now it is automatically tallying all the values that you have put in, right so that is thing like built in formulas that are available in tableau directly you will be able to like what is the percent now you can see like initec is having 8.2 percentage overall value okay total value so that is how directly it has been calculated you need not create a different column for that so few things which are there directly you can uh, use it if it is not available then you can create one new column create calculated column you can put your formula and you can use it okay so that is about label so uh, we have understood what is color how to use color how to use size what is label so next we will move on to detail again i am duplicating this sheet and will rename this as detail okay so detail is nothing but i'll just remove this now uh, we have the normal ones which i can talk about is now in the normal scenario so here you have the empty space i'll just do right click i'll click on view data so when you click on view data what options it will give me so what data it is going to fetch me is only the data that is available with me in the chart okay that data related to client the data related to so i have calculated percentage of total so it is giving me the percentage of total value and the actual value because the value i have used in the rows and columns so that values it is giving and percentage of total values it is giving okay so now i am using these three different columns and it is just giving me this data if i want something extra 
okay maybe see you and every time you need not open the entire table and see you want you are performing certain visualization and you want to see the actual value you want to view your data directly you can uh, you can do right click click on view data and you can just see that okay so that is how it is and again what i will do i'll take this minute and i'll drop it on detail in the marks card now when i perform it again okay again when i click on view data you will be able to see the minutes column getting added in this particular thing so you need not uh, always view the so you have another option here there is a view data you will get the entire data to be seen okay but every time do, you need not open the entire data right because if it is lot of data it might take some time to open the data for you so if it is a visualization only two or three different columns would be there directly you will be able to see something else apart from what you have put in put in the visualization you want to see something else then you can add that particular column and then you can just use this view data option to see it. so that is about detail so again uh, using box plot and all so this this particular detail options are very useful if you are using box plots and all okay and uh, i'll go to the last option which is available that's tool tip again i will just duplicate this tool tip option is something like when you are covering the data point okay so now i want to understand okay uh, what is vestibulum is so if i'm just covering the mouse you can see uh, because we have calculated the percentage of total so it is giving me a percentage of total value like what is the client and what is the percentage of exact value it is giving and only you will have to check now again labeling also as i mentioned you cannot put the put more than one you will be able to put only one value okay so if you want to put more than one value then what you will do right so you want more things to be added okay you just take minutes now i'm just taking one of the columns my minutes and i'm just dropping it on the tool tip okay this is my client this is a percentage of total value and how many number of minutes this particular client uh, is has worked on total with a fee earner so all that values you will be able to see so you want to see the actual value then we can just remove okay so we'll have to remove it like this and just take one and now you will be able to see the actual value okay that was percentage of total and you will be able to see the actual values for how many number of uh, time they have worked up you want to add more things to the tool tip so you can just drag and drop that into the tool tip and then you will be when you hover your mouse you will be able to see that now you can't add fee earner to tool tip right because initech is having so many number of different fee earners you will not be able to see that so that categorical data or any date kind of data you can't add it in tool tip it does not make sense you have to add some aggregate value means so that you will get an actual value minutes okay so this particular client how many number of minutes the fee earners have worked for him so that value you are going to get value you will get minutes you will get right so that way you can you can uh, add those things which will make sense simply because you can add don't add whichever is making sense you can add those things to your uh, tool tip okay so this is about uh, the marks card options that are available uh in tableau so i'll just go through the ppt ones so these are the five formatting options that are available color size label detail and tool tip so color it can be used to change the color of the data points and uh, you can be it can be used to color code data points with another field as well so i have shown you how we can use it with another field also you can do it with other data set also that also i have mentioned but only thing is that uh, there should be a relationship between both the data set only then you will be able to perform it and the second thing is size it can be used to adjust the size of the data points particularly useful for map because see uh, there is something called as symbol map here so in tableau two different types of maps are available one is symbol maps and one is uh, filled map 
okay so symbol maps you just get a circle kind of thing so when what happens is when you get the those circle kind of things you can just drop your sales or something like that so that you understand in which particular area a lot of sales are there so that the bigger the size of the sale bigger the size of that you understand that bigger sales is in this particular area so most of the uh, size can be used for the symbol map then label uh, it can be used to display values next to your data which i have shown it works very well with bar charts but it can clutter charts with many data points maybe something like bubble chart you are using and if you are to if bigger bubble is there it is fit but if it there are very small bubbles are there then uh, it might not be able to uh, uh, it might clutter okay so depending upon uh, only few values you will be able to see so those values for the bigger bubbles you will be able to see and few things which is not which is not there then you'll have to hover your mouse and only and you'll have to check out if it is a very small bubble and if the names are bigger ones so it will be difficult it will not be able to fit so it will not give only it will give only for the bigger bubbles and but bar chart through for bar charts it, it works very well with bar charts so pie charts also again if it is very less number then it will be able to do it but not for all the different charts that are available detail it adds additional columns uh, to the underlying table it works particularly well with box plots and other charts that require two measures whichever charts requires two measures so this particular uh, detail can be used and then uh, the last one was tool tip which we which i had mentioned so appear when your mouse hovers over a data point it can show valuable information about a data point without cluttering the chart so uh, you will not be able to as i mentioned that you will not be able to use all the values uh, in the label one of the values can be used but if you want more than one value to be shown in the data point then you can make use of this uh, tool tip through which you will be able to hover your mouse and just read out what values you have okay so this is about the five formatting options that is available in tableau just to quickly go through first thing first step open your tableau click on the microsoft excel select your data set and then once you select your data set you will be able to see the different sheets that are available in tableau so whichever data set you want to work on just drag that here and then you will be able to see uh, the data of that along with the different data types you want to rename your column you want to change the data type all that can be done here and then you have filters also okay you want to uh, remove few rows and all you will be able to do that using this filters and two types of connection live and extract depending upon your need you can select one of them once this is done then you go to the sheets so once you go to the sheets so what happens is you will be able to see all the different columns that are available in the data set automatically tableau has segregated it into dimensions and measures just drag these dimensions and measures to rows and column shelves okay you will have to do that and then uh, automatically through show me option tableau will give you certain things which is available through this options that you have put in rows and columns apart from that if you want to select any other different chart you can do that okay so that is about visualization and uh, you will be able to see that visualization in this sheet and you can rename it so that the every sheet will have a, a heading for that and this is a mask card option the five different uh, formatting options which are very helpful which are very helpful to find out the insights from the data set that you are having and you will be uh, able to get a story kind of thing okay if i want to explain it to someone maybe using a excel sheet i would not be able to explain them that clearly how much i can explain them using these visualization you just take this uh, option only you will be able to see this bar chart right so how, how what what do you mean by uh, how, like each of the client how they are earning through free earners when you hover your mouse what are the different values you can see so uh, this mask card options are very beautiful which you have to use on your data set to find out more insights so that's it from my side if you all have any questions you all can ask
Any question, anyone? No, sir. Any online participant? Aditya team, can you just check on YouTube? Is there any question? No questions. Okay, fine. So we are fine to end up the session, right? I guess. So uh, thank you, Ankita Man, for this session. Thanks for your time and valuable information that you have shared is uh, will really help all the participants. Now, what you have to do is you have to do practice, of course. Like Ma'am has uh, like described everything precisely in very short span of time. We know how uh, important W is when it comes to data analyst and data science field. So only the thing now you have to do is do a lot of practice on this, right? So once again, uh, thank you, ma'am. And uh, I thank all the participants for sitting for this session. With this, uh, we end the session. Thank you, everyone.